Now we will continue to study cells, namely non-membranous organelles. Let's recall what organelles are. An organelle is usually a free-floating part of a eukaryotic cell that performs a specific function in the cytoplasm. Organelles are divided into non-membrane bound, single membrane bound, and double membrane bound. Non-membrane bound organelles include the cell center, microtubules, microfilaments, and ribosomes. The cell center is an organelle that consists of two centrioles located in a light, compacted area of the cytoplasm. Centrioles are small organelles located in the cytoplasm near the nucleus, usually near the Golgi apparatus. The centriole resembles an empty cylinder, with the walls built from nine complexes of microtubules, three in each one. There are usually two centrioles in cells, surrounded by a centrosome. All animal and only some plant cells have centrioles. Centrioles participate in the formation of the spindle apparatus. They diverge towards the poles of the cell with the threads of microtubules stretched between them. After parent cells divide, one centriole enters each of the newly formed daughter cells. In addition to the formation of microtubules, centrioles help forming spindle apparatus, flagella and cilia. However, in cells that do not have centrioles, these processes occur without their participation. Microtubules are straight, long, hollow cylinders that do not branch. Their outer diameter is about 24 nanometers. The inner space is 50 nanometers wide and the wall thickness is about 5 nanometers. Walls of microtubules are built with densely packed rounded subunits formed from tubulin protein, about 5 nanometers in size. In cells, microtubules act as structural components and participate in many cellular processes, including mitosis, cytokinesis and vesicular transport. Microfilaments are threads in the cytoplasm of all eukaryotic cells. Under the plasma membrane, microfilaments form a plexus. In the cytoplasm, cells form bundles of parallel-oriented threads, or a three-dimensional gel, a base of a cytoskeleton. They have a diameter of about 4 to 8 nanometers and include actin, myosin, and other proteins. Contractile elements of the cytoskeleton are directly involved in attachment to the substrate, amoeboid movements, endomitosis, cycloses in plant cells, places of some membrane protein receptors mediated attachment, formation of a contractile ring during cytotomy in animal cells, vertebrate intestinal cells, and support of microvilli. Ribosomes are organelles without a surface membrane that participate in protein synthesis. They are present in cells of both prokaryotes and eukaryotes and have the form of spherical bodies that consists of large and small subunits. Each of the subunits contains interconnected RNA and proteins. Subunits of ribosomes can separate after the completion of the protein molecule synthesis and then reconnect again before it begins anew. Subunits are formed in the nucleolus and are then transported to the cytoplasm. So, non-membrane bound organelles include ribosomes that are universal non-membrane bound spherical organelles formed in the nucleus from proteins and RNA. Their main function is protein matrix synthesis. The cell center that is part of the cytoplasm usually located near the nucleus, it participates in the formation of the spindle apparatus. Organelles of movement, such as pseudopodia, flagella, cilia, etc.